Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, we can. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good and evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Diana. Good evening. Tocayo, Roberto, hello, Guille, Paco. Hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Good Nasty. Evening. Hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Welcome back after the long weekend. Crazy weekend. Alguien aquí de la Alianza? Huh? Albo, Albo. A ver, Alianza, de, ¿es de esa? Alianza, no, así va, Albo, Albo. Hello, hello. Águila, somebody, de, de, del Águila, del Águila, hello. Se le saluda todo, ¿verdad? Yes, good evening. Good evening, good evening, Guille. Mm -hmm. And did you watch the game? Did you go watch the game? Just the, the second half. Okay, all right. Uh, I started to to watch the the the, the match from the uh, minute sixty nine. Oh, so you didn't get to watch too much of it. No, I didn't. I couldn't. But I, when I realized, I I remember that they were they were playing. So I turn on the, the turn on the TV, and when I started watching the the match, mm -hmm. it was a minute seven sixty nine. Oh, okay, yeah. So you missed well, uh, but but you know what? I was watching the news, and they were mentioning how the most important portion was late in the game. Yes. Right, because oh. uh, I think uh, Alianza uh, scored uh, two that two goals. Uh, scored two goals in, in the second half. All right, so yeah, so I'm thinking that you probably got to watch the most exciting portion of that game. Yes, right. All right, all right. Whoa. I agree. I agree with that. It was a, well, you know, it, it was a good game. Hello, Carla, Ivan. Welcome, welcome, sir. Hello, teacher, good evening. How's it going, how's it going? Give me one second, I was trying to see if... <clears throat> it's a little bit, let me see. No. I think it actually got a little bit brighter. You know, the brightness was supposed to be a little bit lower. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. You know, it was very clever. I'm still pending on an answer for the, let me go ahead and share that with you guys before we get started. Let me go here, let me go back. Uh, sharing my screen. So sharing everything. All right. And I'm still pending on the closing date because I know that they usually put the, the, the date that comes up here, it's usually about maybe eight to 10 days after. So we're still pending on this one for the, the course ending date. Ojo con eso. Paco, 
Usted ya iba adelantado. You were really ahead. I was in the section three, I guess. Section three. And how did you continue? Did you continue to advance or did you hold on? I did to hold on. I mean, I, I decided to hold on because uh, there were a few things I couldn't understand. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. Thank you very much. Thank you for waiting for us, Paco. And being in section three, it's actually, it's actually, you know, good. That's okay. Okay. Did everybody manage to start at least in section one? Everybody yes. okay with section one? Yes. Okay. Did everybody manage to go into section two? Or do you guys still need help? I didn't see, I didn't see anybody active on WhatsApp. Viernes, sábado, domingo. Hola. Todo mundo se fue de vacación. <laughs> everybody, everybody left vacation. En la playita me los imaginaba todos, fíjense. En la playa 503. En la, en la Correcto, correcto. Oh, y allí, ¿cómo es? Y ese, ese parece al teacher, es el teacher, sí, él es. Y sin camisa. Con oh. la camisa en la mano, teacher. Y dándole vuelta. ¡Ay! ¡Gaso! Ah, usted era, ¿verdad? Se sabe, se sabe. Sí, imagina, se imagina. No, sí, sí, el video de background lo tuviera. <risa> Oh my God. Okay. All right. Well, okay. So section one, everybody good? Tienen alguna pregunta? Alguien que necesite ayuda? Me, me recuerdo que estuvimos haciendo varias cosas de la section number one. Vamos a dar un pequeño repaso y luego vamos a iniciar section number two. Okay. Hello, hello, everybody. In case we need any support, please remember that I do have some... Um, I do have some presentations that we can use and I have saved a, a number of those presentations so we can always bring them up. Si hay algo que tal vez necesita un poco de reinforcement, a little bit of reinforcement, please let me know. Um, if you guys hear something that, uh, that maybe you don't know the meaning to or how to apply it, please let me know because I have more than likely I have a presentation somewhere around there and maybe we can use it. Um, we also have the live worksheets. So if for at any time do you guys wanna change over and wanna start using uh, the live worksheets, we can also transition into those, no problem. All right, so we left off here at uh, 1.10, which was the reading exercise, and we were able to complete it. And then from here, we went next. Uh, some of the questions that came up, you know, GUI, you guys remember, what does GUI mean? GUI was like, like a CEO, we said. Okay, all right, like a CEO, right? Really sticky, really, you know, kind of watery, you can stretch it out. All right, good. Okay, so we start off in 2.0, and here... <laughs> we start to look at, at past continuous and simple past to express an action which was in progress in the past and got interrupted by another completed action. I remember we went over this a little bit, right? And then you have the video which starts off and talks about past continuous and simple past and I do recall covering some items here. We also, there's a knowledge check for 2.2. Now, this knowledge check, I remember we filled it out and we only left, did we? That's weird. Did we fill this one out as a class? No, hey, we, we missed uh, two, right? Two. Two. The last yes. two. Two pending. Did, did anybody complete the last two? I did. Yes, I did, too. And do you guys remember what it was? So let's, let's go, let's start from real quick. This one, 
para las personas que no lo han visto todavía, we worked it in to, um, to some of the activity that we did. And we actually went through some of them, and which, which was number one, my brother was snowboarding when he broke his leg in several places. And then it was uh, number two, several years ago, I was having problems with math. So I had a tutor to help me. I found. I found, was that I found, was I found? So I found, I don't remember, I was found, I found, okay. There we go, yeah. And then number three was the couple was having their first child. I think that's the way we were, that's the one we selected first or had their first child when they were living in a tiny apartment. I think something like that. Number four, while I was driving in Ireland a few years ago, I realized I was on the wrong side of the road. And then we said that Ulrike was reading a good book, but someone told her the ending. Okay. Ahora sí, number six. ¿Cómo quedamos con esta? While my mother was cooking. was cooking dinner last night, the phone Run. rang three times. Okay. Number seven. Tracy and Eric were working. No, no. Tr Tracy and Eric met. met when they were working. were working at the same restaurant in Vancouver. All right, let's see those two, they sound pretty good. Let's see what they have to say and we are, uh, submit, we got it. All right, so knowledge check 2.2. Hello, hello, Mario, Melissa. No, no, creo que no les había dado. Hello, hello. Creo que no les había dado la bienvenida, Melissa, Mario. Bienvenido. Um, I am already connected to the video conference. <laughs> okay, good, good. Welcome. Welcome to Monday. Uh, all right, so we're moving forward from this one. And here we go. Uh, in this class, you will learn some useful adverbs for telling stories. So adverbs is the main point or the main focus. And we are gonna talk about vocabulary. So let me go ahead and put the video for you guys. Let's try to make it a little bit larger here. And I'm gonna remove the share and I'll put it right back because I have to also allow the sound. So here we go, guys. Here we go. I'm gonna talk about some adverbs, which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, Luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Now that you have listened and decided which ones were positive, negative, and neutral, we want you to complete the following statements with those adverbs so you can come up with creative sentences. are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral. Fortunately. Okay, we're going to pause right here. And let's look at the words that we're using. These are adverbs. 
And what they want us to do is to identify which ones are positive, which ones are negative, and which ones are just neutral. And we're gonna practice saying them, and then we're also gonna practice, you know, seeing what they mean, uh, or seeing what you know what the what the translation is. That way, we're pretty clear on what we're talking about when we say these words. All right. So let's start off with coincidentally. Is that positive? Is that negative? Is that neutral? And what does it mean? What would be the translation for coincidentally? Coincidentemente. Okay, all right. How would you use that? Let's say en español. ¿Cómo ocuparías tú esa palabra? Is the same that say casualmente? You could say, well, you know what? We could use it. I believe it is part of the same saying. Give me one second. Let's see. Let's go into, you guys remember what we like to use? We like to use lingui. English to Spanish and coin, coincidir. Coincidental, coincidentally, casualmente. Yeah, Roberto. Now they all, depending on how you say it, right? They can also kind of fit in coincidental, coincidentally, and they can also be used como coincidencia, casualidad, casualmente. I think that's the one that fits the most, but but as you can see, por casualidad, coincidentemente, por coincidencia can also be used. Casualmente, there's coincid uh, coincidental, which is casual. All right, so we could we could use them all, and then so let's see how that sounds. Coincidentally. 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 Okay. There we go. There we go. Coincidentally. So it's like, even though at the very beginning, there's like a coin. Coincidentally is what you're going to sound out. So the first two words, C-O, coincidentally. What? Coincidentally. Coincidentally. All right. Okay. So now, is that positive? Is that negative? Or is that neutral? Neutral, maybe. Neutral. Neutral. Okay. Okay. Now it could be it could be negative, right? It could be positive or it could be negative. Depending on the act. There we go. There we go. So imagine, imagine you go out with your girlfriend, and in the park, you find yourself that you see or that your girlfriend's ex-boyfriend coincidentally is at the park at the same time. That could be very negative. Yes. Right? All right, all right. Now, it could also be very positive. You go to the park and coincidentally, your girlfriend also goes to the park and you guys find each other there, you know, without even knowing, without planning for it. So it could be, right? So I like it because it, it, it does start neutral, as neutral. And then it could it could switch over to either positive or negative. Okay, let's go for the next one. Next word is fortunately. 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 Positive. Positive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I found a dollar. Ah, fortunately, I fortunately found a dollar. Yeah. Okay. What would be the word in Spanish? Let's see. Fortunately. Afortunadamente. For, afortunadamente. Fortunately. Yeah, there it is. Por suerte. Felizmente. You guys can also use that. Dichosamente. 
All right. So fortunately, so now in English, you know, there's only a couple of, of things that you could use. You can use fortunately and you can say fortunate. There's not many other words that you can that you can match up. But in Spanish, as you guys can see, there's a few that have, you know, a relative same meaning. So fortunately or fortunate, you can you can use. Fortunately. Did we let's see how it sounds. Fortunately. 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 And fortunate, we already kind of fortunate. Have, fortunate. We already have the idea. Okay. Now we said that fortunately was positive. Correct? Yes. All right. And then then you can say uh, you are a fortunate man. You can say that. There's actually a song called Fortunate Son. Have you guys ever heard? You are a fortunate son. You're a fortunate man. Mm -hmm. and it had to do with Vietnam. And, you know, the kids that were like from rich parents, they would they, they didn't have to go to Vietnam. So then the song talks about being a fortunate Regents. son. Yeah. There, yeah, that's it. That's the one. All right. So fortunately or fortunate. All right. Next one. Luckily. Luckily. Lucky you, lucky, luckily, right? Would you guys say that this is positive or negative? Positive. Positive, luckily, okay. Luckily, I found my keys. So you could say something like that. Por suerte encontré mis llaves. Luckily, okay? Vamos a la siguiente que es miraculously. Like a miracle, but here you're saying miraculously, miraculously. Por milagro, milagrosamente, miraculously. Now, this one gets used, it's a little bit different than, you know, than using fortunate or lucky. This one is, it usually has to do with maybe you were in a car accident and miraculously you did not get hurt. So with that in mind, would that be positive, negative, or neutral? Positive. Positive. Milagrosamente. Yeah. Se salvó. Miraculously. Miraculously. All right. Okay. All right, so now we go into sadly. 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 Sadly, the dog passed away. Would that be negative. positive, negative, neutral? Negative. Negative. Right? Neutral. 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 There is no positive, there is no negative, it's just normal. More or less. Uh, more, all right, all right. Now, I, you know, I would say that it, it is also depending on what what we're talking about, right? Because if you're talking about a dog passing away, uh, sadly, that's, you know, sadly, I didn't get to go to the beach. Well, I don't know, sad, sadly, it's, it's really hard to make positive. We have to, tenemos que rebuscar bastante. All right, but well, we can keep it in mind. Okay, let's go. Let's move. Strangely. 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 Mm -hmm. Strangely. 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 Let's see. Let's look it up. Strangely. Strangely. And, well, you know, you could leave it as just that, or you can add something to it. There you go. Extrañamente. De manera extraña, curiosamente. Oh, that's a lot. Strangely and strange. So you would say either strange, which is the adjective, and you could say strangely, which is the adverb. Strangely, strange. Let's see how that sounds. Strangely. Yeah, we got it. Strangely. Let's see how the British say it. Strangely. 
Oh my goodness. Strangely. Strangely. <laughs> strangely. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like they want to really talk for a long time. Okay. Strangely, strange. We got that. And would that be strangely? Would that be positive, negative, neutral? Neutral, that we say. Neutral. neutral? Okay. All right. We're moving on to suddenly. Suddenly. Oh. So, yeah. so, I see, como, I say, sudden, and then you add the lee. Suddenly, suddenly. Suddenly. Oh. Suddenly. 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 De repente, right? Let me see. Suddenly. Let me see how that one pops up. De repente. We got that one. Suddenly. De repente. Or you could say sudden. Some people say all of a sudden, mami, de repente, que me muerde el chucho, right? So you could say it like that. All of a sudden. Suddenly, or suddenly. you can say sudden. Let's see how it sounds. Let's see how suddenly. we can. Suddenly. 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 Vamos a ver, cuando vamos a Inglaterra, ¿cómo se va a escuchar? Suddenly. Oh my goodness. Suddenly. 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 All right. We could we could get it. We could Suddenly. we could actually get it. Yeah. No, let's go back. Suddenly. Let's go, let's Suddenly. Go back. Let's go Suddenly. back. Go. Americano. Suddenly. Okay. Suddenly. Sudden. 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 There we Sudden. go. All right, we got it. Suddenly, would that be positive? Negative or neutral? Neutral. Neutral? Okay. <laughs> because you don't know what's going on, right? Suddenly, my girlfriend popped up and she hugged me. Suddenly, the chucho came out the door and bit me. So it could go either way, depending on the situation. as well. Okay. How about surprisingly? Surprisingly. No, you guys, you're good. Surprisingly. Good, good one. Good one, Glenda. Surprisingly. <laughs> Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Okay. Surprisingly. Let's check this one out. Surprisingly. You guys have an, an idea of what it means, right? Yeah. Yeah. Surprise. Surprisingly. I think that's it. Yeah. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Sorprendentemente, increíblemente, Surprise. extraordinariamente. Wow. So you could you could really go downtown with these words. Asombrosamente. Right? Surprisingly. Now for this one, there's a couple of options. Right? We have surprisingly, we have surprising, we have surprise. So surprise. let's try it. Surprisingly. Surprise. Surprisingly. 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 Yeah. Surprisingly. Let's let's try surprising. 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 Y esta que creo que es bien común, que es el famoso surprise. 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 You guys can hear the sur surprise on this one. Surprise. Surprise. There we go. Surprise. Surprise. Right. Now, is surprisingly positive, okay. negative, or neutral? Neutral. Neutral? We're going to say neutral? It depends. It depends on the action, neutral. right? Surprisingly, okay? Yes. Yes. How about, how about Unexpectedly. 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 Let's try this one out. Unexpectedly. It's negative. Negative. All right. Yes. Uh, unemployment. <laughs> Unex <laughs> Let's see. Unex. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Unex. What is it? On X. On X. No, I think it had, let me see. 
I got, the, the, the I, got, I got the it got stuck surprisingly is what we had already give me one second let's see unexpectedly all right unexpectedly unexpectedly well, unexpectedly well we could use this one and see if it'll take us there unexpectedly there it is. Sorry about that, guys. Inesperadamente. So it's a, it's a little bit different, but it's also very similar. Similar. Unexpectedly, okay. and it's unexpected. So you guys can use both either unexpectedly, it could be used as a noun, and it could be used as an adjective. Let's see how it sounds. Unexpectedly. 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 Unexpected. Yeah, we got it. Un unexpectedly. Okay. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. There we go. Unexpectedly. Uh, and would you guys say that this is negative, positive? Neutral. Neutral. Neutral? Okay. Oh, and then there it is. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. We we discussed it when we were looking at fortunately, and then there was un unfortunately it's negative that's not that's very negative right unfortunately i lost my car unfortunately yeah. i lost my cell phone okay? okay all right so from here let me go ahead and move on she said we there was a little exercise which is let me see where did we leave it off there it is. So, the exercise is, I was walking down the street when, and you guys get to use the words that we were looking at before, and you guys could say things like, surprisingly so let's do let's take a quick let me see here we, we're gonna use the powerpoint for this one or maybe I was, I was yeah. down the street when... so we can do that so the exercise is for you guys to put together a word or, or, or a phrase using one of the words that we just studied. So let me let me write those down. Let me let me put them on here. Let me see here. Let me add a new slide just for you guys. And so let me go ahead and make it a little bit smaller so that we can type. And it doesn't matter, right? Because we're still, we're all going to kind of go back to this anyways. So I was walking down the street when, and then we are going to continue. Uh, it started out as a normal day. But, and then, oops, sorry, started out. Let me go ahead and erase this one for here. I don't want to. And then the third one is we were on our way to the festival when. And then, all right, now let's go back. Let me see. Here they are. Okay. So super easy. If you guys have access to the chat, you guys can put it on the chat. If not, you guys can put it together in your mind and then voice it out. I was walking down the street when 
suddenly my best friend came running out to hug me. I was walking down the street when suddenly my best friend came running out to hug me. Okay. I was walking down the street when suddenly my best friend came running out to hug me. Came running. All right. The next one. It started out as a normal day, but sadly enough, it started to rain. Oh, I don't like the rain. Some people like it, right? So it could be, or it, you know, you guys could use it around. We were on our way. We were on our way to the festival when miraculously, right? Miraculously, I found a $20 bill. Ay, qué suertudo, hombre. Es que me bañaron con ruda. Y ustedes saben que la ruda es sensacional para eso. So you guys can choose any word from here. And then you guys can put the phrases together. You can put them in our chat or you can share them with us. Ivan, I was, I was walking down the street when suddenly a mad dog appeared. Yeah, that one, that one, yeah, we could do that one. A mad dog. Un rabioso, la rabiosa, la rabiosa. Rabies, okay. It started out as a normal day, but unfortunately I received, well, in this, in this case, Ivan, you could either say, unfortunately I received bad news, or you can say, I received a bad, uh, no, it would have to be, it started out as a normal day, but unfortunately I received bad news. So you don't need the A there. I lost my job. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it, it, I, I used to tell a story that it was easy for me to tell a customer I know what that feels like because I had lost my job so many times that it was normal. You know, it was like, ah, oh, man, that feels so good now. Yeah. <sighs> we were on our way to the festival when unexpectedly one driver crossed in front of us. And we crashed into him. Seriaki. We crashed into him. That's something that you could use. We were on our way to the festival when unexpectedly, yeah, there we go. That unexpectedly, one driver crossed in front of us. You could also say a driver, and that still would be okay. Unexpectedly, a driver crossed in front of us and we crashed into him. Yeah, you could say it like that. All right. All right. Who would like to share? Voluntarios. If you guys put them on the chat, remember, if you have it on the chat, you can put it on the chat and I'll read it for you guys. We, we were going to the party when unexpectedly we got a flat tire. Yeah. There we go. Unexpectedly, you got a flat tire. Yes, you got a, a flat tire. That is a good way of saying it, Paco. Um, some people say I have, but I have means that it already happened and that you're looking at the flat tire. So I got a flat tire works, okay? Okay. 
Who else? Who else? A ver, Glenda. A ver, ya, ya, se, ya se siente bien la, la voz. ¿Cómo se siente? Ya yes, estamos. thank you. Thank you for asking me, teacher. Okay, all right. Do you want to share one of these? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, we were on our way to the house when uh, suddenly, 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 uh, uh, there, there was a crash. Car what? No, a crash. Uh a car okay you could say a car crash ah uh, yes a car crash you could also say there was an accident ah there and was an accident you could say it like that glenda and what happens is you leave it open right so if you say there was an accident it's more yeah. like a conversation and you're waiting for somebody to ask you you know what type of accident so that's that's still okay because it's a conversation or you can say it like mm -hmm. you said it there was a car crash and you want to make yes. it specific so either way you can either say there was a car crash or you a can crash. say there was an accident and it will there, work yes yes there was an accident okay all right now was that for real glenda is everybody okay or is it just a story It, it it was true <laughs> it was true <laughs> okay all right okay yes. uh, uh let me see we got paco's guille unfortunately it was true <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we go <laughs> unfortunately there we go good one good one i was walking down the street when suddenly i talked to a friend that i, I hadn't. haven't that i hadn't there we go that you fixed it that i hadn't seen since many years ago yes you could say it like that all right that'll work and han is the correct yes i'm not there we go you got it you got it all right thank you all right anybody else want to share melissa let me see melissa i was walking down the street when unfortunately i lost my money so here you want to say lost Ooh. now you can say loss if you say if you say something like you know what i take that as a loss meaning that let's say we're gonna we're gonna use something that's that's a little bit common uh let's say you make a bet and you lose money you know that is a loss but when you physically lose something you have to say i lost it L O S T. Now you can say loss también cuando alguien se ha muerto. Right? Yeah. So you can also say loss for an actual loss in the family. There was a loss in the family. Porque alguien se fue. Right? So, se fijan como cambia mi voz when we talk about death. It's like, oh my God, death. All right. Loss, a loss, una pérdida, correcto. That's it, Ivan. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. I lost it, or a loss. Yes, you can do it that way. All right. Anybody else before we move forward? Everybody set? We got it? Okay, we're moving forward. And then we come to lesson 2.5. Um, catching up on news this is conversation practice right now for us like i was telling you guys earlier when we came in it was a busy weekend right there was a lot of things going on in the news before we look at the video i want to see if you guys want to share anything in the news that caught your eye, any news that caused you a little a shock, maybe that it was shocking or maybe that it was surprising to you. So we're gonna use shockingly or surprisingly to you. And it could be any news at all that you guys saw, that you guys read, that you guys heard. Who would like to share? 
The the one related to the ambulance that they killed the the driver, I think, and they're still looking for the for the killer. Oh, so, I I even I hadn't heard that one. And yeah. and so it's ambulance, ambulance, ambulance. There ambulance. you go, you got it, Ivan. So tell me a little bit more about that, Ivan. So the so the ambulance driver, he got killed. Yep. And they can't find the person who killed him. They still f looking for the for the killer. Oh, that's terrible, man. That's yeah, yeah. that really sucks. All right, okay. Anybody else would like to share? Little bit of a shock. Well, I heard one. Maybe you guys read about it or heard it. There was four people, and it was well, actually, yeah, it was four people. It was three sons and the father, and they lived in the little town. Uh, I, I'm not really. I can't remember where, but what they did is they would take girls, ladies anybody they wanted they would take them to the house and then they would you know rape them and kill them and finally the people in the town got fed up they got so tired and then they called the police and they got them while they were doing something so los agarraron con las manos en la masa and so they took all four in and the shocking part was that they were all gang members the sons and the father so they were all gang members and they all did these things so i was i was really shocked by the news and at the same time you know i was you know i was kind of happy that they got caught yeah. so you know that's that's something that i saw so really ter terrible news man really where, impactful where was news. it you know i can't remember but it but it was like a little town here in el salvador yeah oh yeah. wow so I'm going to look it up and hopefully, you know, ho hopefully I can get you the town, the, the town name. All right. Anything else? Anything else, you guys? Shocking news. It could be happy news. How about that? It could be good, positive news. Any? No, no positive news. There is positive news. Come on. There, there is. No, no. All right, all right. So let let me go ahead and play the video then. <laughs> or uh, I was going to share some happy news with the AFP. Eh, y hubieron unos cambios que dicen que si tomas el préstamo para el AFP, now at the end when you when you retire, you don't have to pay the money that you owe. Eh, fueron cambios que se efectuaron um, at the beginning of this month. So you know, some happy news. Some happy news. And All right. Actually, they raised the 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 money that they are giving to the people. I I believe. I heard something about that as well. Uh, I have yeah. a friend that has a disability. She had a, a derrame cerebral. I don't know how to say. It. And so, she she was receiving two hundred twenty, and now she got three hundred. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a nice little chunky $80 yeah. more. Yeah. Yo creo que derrame se puede decir. Struck. You know, yeah. Who said it, Guille? Guille? It's truck. Truck. Yeah, a stroke. It's a, a There we go. Stroke. Yeah. Stroke. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes, right. Stroke. Now, there's two types of strokes. You can have a heart attack and they call that a stroke or you can have the derrame cerebral which is also known as a stroke so so you could have either either or but you can say a stroke yeah we'll take that all right ladies and gentlemen let me go ahead and put the video on and let's see what section 2.6 is all about in the following conversation the idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. 
Hello, this time we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Papeles. This time we Papeles, papeles. All right. The green card. The green card. First exercise, ladies and gentlemen, looks like this. Now, do you guys remember how we were discussing the conversations for Americans and how it's okay to ask and it's okay to tell? Now, what happens with us as a culture, no nos gusta decir muchas cosas, no nos gusta decir que fuimos de vacaciones, we don't like to tell people that we went on vacation, we don't like to tell people we bought a new car, uh, we don't like to tell people that, uh, that we took a trip. Why do you guys think, for us as Salvadoreños, we don't like to say these things? What reasons would you say that we don't say things like that? You are muted. I think, I would say it's a cultural thing. Okay, okay. So let I me think, ask you, yeah, Paco, yeah. Yeah, well, my opinion, I think that this is... I think we, we lost you there for a second. Is that is that Paco or Guille? What's Paco? It was Paco. We didn't hear the last part. Hey, Paco. All right. It was Paco. I it was Paco. We cannot hear. Oh, okay, okay, Paco. No worries, no worries. Okay. Okay. So now we see we see this. No, no worries. Don't worry about it, Paco. We see that this, you know, it's very common for us. And if you're not used to it, eventually you start becoming used to it. Um, I think that it has to do with how social media works now, right? Because they put a lot of things on social media like Facebook where when you mention that you bought a new car, they call it like you're being a show off. Um, Que, que lo que estás tratando de hacer es llamar atención, when in reality you're not. You know, I worked very hard to get a motorcycle. I am very proud of my motorcycle. I want to be able to post it on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. 
And I don't think I should be punished for, for me being so happy about my motorcycle, you know? And so you don't see it that often in the United States for people to kind of judge you on things like that. But here in El Salvador, it, it does become a little bit harder to have a conversation like this one because you don't want to tell people that you went to Italy on vacation. You know, you don't want to tell people that you, you brought back a boyfriend from Italy, right? Because the first thing that people start to think or to say is usually very negative. So uh, I think here in El Salvador, in El Salvador, culturally, we just don't want to go through that scrutiny and that way, you know, then that way we don't say that much. But let me tell you that as soon as you get to the United States, guys, you guys can post whatever you want and it's okay. Yeah, nobody will judge you. <laughs> so I'm waiting for that. I'm going to be waiting for that. Okay, so with this conversation, what is going on with Gina? What happened with Gina? What has she been doing since, she, since they last saw each other? She has been saving money. She has been trip. saving money, okay, for her trip. Where is she going? Italy? Yeah, Italy? Right. No, this one she's going to? Morocco. Morocco, Morocco. yeah. Marruecos, right? Marruecos in Spanish, Morocco in English. All right. And what's going on with Pete? What has he been doing? He's the been office. spending his money. He's been spending money, right? He's like me, you know, he's a model and then, he, you know, he's just spending <laughs> money, looking for jobs. Uh, and let me see. He is about to run out of something. What is he about to run out of? Money. Money. There we go. So with this one, well, with both of them, right? You guys listen to the conversation and then try to answer uh, what is going on here. Now, this is the conversation portion and that takes us to lesson 2.7. And we are going to start to look at present perfect continuous. Now for this one, we are going to hold off and we are going to work on this one for tomorrow and then hopefully we can do some exercises with the structures and putting them into practice with conversations okay okay, okay. all right ladies and gentlemen happy monday that is it for the class please remember all the good stuff make sure you guys forget all the bad stuff lo veo mañana Happy to see you guys here and hope to see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Hey, you too. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.